So I got my fitting connected onto my um, pressure transducer hooked onto my T-fitting along with a uh, my shop air regulated at zero volts and this is when you want to calibrate your um, tuner studio to show the fuel pressure the correct fuel pressure and that's my girlfriend over there you're in it honey <laughs> too late <laughs> so yeah these the numbers <laughs> So zero volts, I got it at negative 35, and that doesn't have to mean anything. It just means that it, where the number falls on, actually it says 0.6. I can actually play with that a little bit and watch this. You can play with that number a little bit. We'll go negative, uh, negative, we'll try negative 37. Negative 37, hit burn. And now we'll see actually you're at negative Point one or one point so 30 36 was good you go negative negative 36 negative 36 that's because of the uh, that's because the gauge or the the thing is actually um, the sensor and the tuner studio are there's a certain amount of uh, variance in there or a certain amount of uh you know there's a certain amount of accuracy to this and it's not that accurate you know it's close enough so we'll try negative 35. so yeah now we're at point point three that's as close as you're going to get so you want to set that there and then see what we'll do now we'll turn the turn the pressure up to uh 20 on our regulator and so now we're at 20 roughly about 20 psi on the gauge and see we're at 15 point 15 point nine so we actually play with the the five volt number here so we need to raise that up so you can uh you actually got to go not up higher than 150 so we'll try let's just try 170 so at 170 now, there you go. Now we're at 19.4. It's probably about as close as I can get for calibrating this. And then you got one thing you got to double check here is also you have to turn it back down to zero. Turn it back down to zero. And then you see your, what one thing happens here is that you'll understand that um, your negative value, your, your zero volt value is no longer going to show zero on your fuel pressure gauge. So now you got to go back and this is kind of a back and forth thing. You got to keep going back and forth on your numbers. So that's too high for, for uh, PSI at, at no PSI on the, on the, on the tra pressure transducer. So we need to go down on that. Yeah. So you actually got to go negative even more. So we'll go negative, yeah, negative, uh, negative, that's good enough. We'll go negative uh, 30, let's go negative 40. So negative 40, see what that does to the gauge. Okay, yes, yeah, so now we're at point 0.1. So that looks good right there at zero PSI, negative 40. So let's go back up to 20. 20 psi you'll see it start climbing yep there we go you can actually hear the bubbles in the gas tank because i'm blowing air into the into the fuel system but we're going to try to get this as close to 20 as we can on the gauge it's really hard the gauge has probably got a certain amount of accuracy also but all right so yeah we're we're actually pretty good now 19.3 i think that's pretty accurate and you can even go up higher than that i actually run I run really low fuel pressure with this car on E85 because I have the very large um, 500 pound injectors because I run E85 gas and methanol 
I just changed the tune on it and I also raised the fuel pressure. So we're going to jump it up to 30, 30 PSI and see what it says. Put 30 PSI into the, into the uh, pressure transducer and see we're at 32 so it's, it might not be very accurate on the gauge. Actually it is a little high. It's going to be lower just a smidge. There we go. You're at 30. Uh, so we're at, yeah, we're a little high, but I think for the, for conversation pieces or conversation, I think we're fine. Yeah, we're, we're a little high, but that might be the gauge too. Yeah, the gauge is actually you know, right on 30. So, yeah, and we can raise it higher than that. We'll go to, whoops. Yeah, I don't really want to go any higher than 30. Because it's it's actually putting air into the gas tank, and uh, I don't want to do that. So anyway, yeah, I'm back at back at 20 now. Yep, 20 psi. Actually, it's showing a little high, 21. It's actually 20. Might be a little higher than 20. There. It's a pretty accurate gauge. So now we're at 21. We might be a little high on the on the high side and actually go probably uh, 060 160 160 you just got to keep playing with this thing get it completely accurate 165 burn so yeah we're at 19.9 that's that's about as close as I'm gonna get so those are the uh, fuel pressure got it hooked up uh, a spare ADC 13 fuel pressure linear you want to use linear on it zero value I'm not sure about the lag factor I don't know what really that it's probably does something the smoothing I think it's smoothing factor so if you go 50 it doesn't smooth as much yeah you can kind of see it jumping there so you probably want to use a lower number more smoothing the lower number so I think I had it on 12 or something or 10. I don't know. So yeah, see now it's more stable. Anyway, all right. Hope this all helps out, people.